Hey everyone, Dave here, welcome to Mannequin Overview. This is another title from the Fast Travel Games and it was sitting on the App Lab section for some time as a trial version. Of course now due to the migration everything is pretty much available, but I think it was scheduled eventually to graduate from that standpoint. So Mannequin is a hide and seek multiplayer game where as elite agents, you're on the hunt for the shape-shifting mannequin aliens who hide from you in plain sight and blend into the environment in order to ambush and freeze you forever. First things first, it's a very apparent inspiration of a cult classic at this point, which is a prop hunt mode in Gmod. It took the gaming industry by storm and everyone was pretty much playing it, or familiar at least. And now we have some kind of twist of that in a VR setting. Hide and seek has been done before on the platform, so it's not necessarily anything innovative. Every single time though, it's something different and introduces certain features that make it fresh and here it's no exception. The whole gameplay loop is find the fake NPCs in the crowd that mannequins disguise as before they kinda touch you and freeze in place. Very straightforward concept, controls and tutorials, everything was very much clear. Like I wouldn't be surprised if people who aren't necessarily into that sort of stuff would instantly understand how it works, so that's a very nice accessibility tactic that the developers went for. From the technical stuff, I think the overall graphical art style could be a little bit upgraded, more specifically with the environments, because some things could look a little bit too plain and then the resolution on models in the distance is kinda rough, as well as for some reason when you twist your arms, like the avatar ones, they kinda squeeze themselves like you'd want to dry a towel. So with the kinetics it might look a little bit weird, but other than that, it's a rather solid project that fills its niche and is heavily centered on the multiplayer setting because without people, there's no even way to play it. Let's go find some mannequins. Is this thing on? Uh, James, can you just... Uh... Ah, yes, okay. Welcome to Basic Training Agent. I'll give you some light context to the conflict, but please do refer to the manual later. Do we expect you to know all 800 pages by heart? <laughs> For the futuristic setting, the textures aren't looking that good. And those are some fake reflections. <laughs> There are actually two tutorials, so we'll do both, because I'm not even sure if I'll get into the game. What the hell is happening with my hand here? Jesus. It's been a while since the anomalous event and the appearance of the temporal crystals. We still don't understand much, mind you. The mannequins are a new threat to our civilization. We call them that based on their uncanny ability to mimic the human body. Ow. Oh. They have the ability to freeze time. Everything stops except for the mannequins who can still move around freely in the frozen world. This straight out of prop hunt. I mean, the reference is very clear. Okay. If you ever spot a mannequin on the move, you do your best to eliminate it at once. The chance might not come back. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh. 
Ah, that's interesting. It feels fair against the mannequins then. Some frozen humans look awfully suspicious, don't you think? It is very likely a mannequin in disguise. You could shoot it to make sure. Yeah, but do we have some other tools to recognize? Sometimes, however, you may be tricked. Posing mannequins look very similar to first responders, frozen in time. If you shoot any of them, your magnetic gun will jam for a few seconds. Now we'll move on to your EMF reader. Analyzing magnetic signatures is a great tool for finding any nearby lurking. It's fairly self-explanatory. The higher the reading, the closer you are to a mannequin. There was another game that was all about ghosts and stuff, so it's not unknown concept at this point. Eliminating posing mannequins is one of the more important skills you must learn to master. It's very straightforward though. I will kill you. That one does look fine. I mean, it's not like you have to have some high quality ones, but they are sufficient for the ambience going on and art style. Although, I guess, again, textures could be improved. And the resolution in this distance isn't really good. Take a look at your gorse detector, shall we? It detects mannequins within a larger area. The energy expenditure is immense, though, so if you use it correctly, any mannequins should stand out as clear as day. Ah, yes. With the mannequins clearly visible, eliminating them shouldn't be too much trouble. But is there, like, a limit to it? Okay, next up, something quite different, but very important. The energy generators are immensely helpful, and incidentally, the reason we're all in this mess <laughs> when they've been active for a set time, your abilities will be boosted and give you a vast advantage. For instance, all present mannequins will now be visible in your thermal visor. The mannequins obviously don't want this to happen, and we'll try to shut them down. Like a control point, essentially. Should you spot one in the proximity of an energy generator, you should take them out immediately. If an agent has been frozen by the mannequins, don't lose hope. Just simply touching a frozen agent seems to reverse the polarity of the drugs. Is you only have a few precious seconds to revive your frozen friends. Better make them count, eh? The hell? <laughs> 
end with that final piece of information, we conclude the briefing. Uh, right, James. Nothing else, what? Ah, yes. <clears throat> Go get them, agents, and remember, the future of mankind rests upon your shoulders. So now to switch to the mannequin. My hands as well twist in a weird angles here. It's been a few months since the anomalous event and the appearance of the temporal crystals, and we still don't understand much. But I'll try to make things a little more clear for you. As you're well aware, we call this the mannequin thread. This is what we've been able to ascertain. The mannequins have the ability to freeze time. Everything stops, but the mannequins themselves. They move around freely in the frozen world. I don't get why we don't have a narration from the alien standpoint. <laughs> the aliens possess powers of camouflage that allow them to take the shape of ordinary humans and hide among us. As you understand, this is all very disturbing and puts us at a severe disadvantage. Okay, so even if I move IRL, my avatar stays the same. But I need to like figure out the natural poses. I can technically even see myself. <laughs> Every time we get close, the mannequins attempt to blend in. Yeah, but it depends what you blend in into, like... Because it really depends what looks natural in VR, which nothing really. When they are hidden among us, we are very vulnerable to their attacks. It doesn't take more than a single touch to put an agent out of commission. And that's essentially a game over up until the other agents won't save them. Very simple. I'm guessing you think that I must be done with the bad news now, right? Wrong. They are also inhumanely fast and can dash straight into us from a long distance. Oh, that seems OP. But I can't necessarily climb unless I'm limited by the distance. But it does feel kind of unfair. <laughs> what the result of that is. It's horrible. Just horrible. It's not like I need to even touch him with my hands, it's just my own movement. Mannequins, at least the ones we see on Earth, seem to have one singular task. To freeze humans for their own nefarious purposes. To do this as efficiently as possible, they have found ways to... to grow in strength. Warning. Generators we, one such strategy exposed. is to absorb the output of our energy generators. I 
I feel like it all will come down to the. If they absorb two energy generators, they will be able to echolocate the position of any nearby human that isn't frozen. Almost like a bat. Very peculiar. I was gonna say to the whole AI system and how the game maneuvers with placing the NPCs. It can get more simple than that though. news. See, mannequins are a hardy bunch, and after death, they can be... The oh, good news is, <laughs> finally right, is that they can only do this until the signals between their brain, organ, and what we think is their heart stop completely. That concludes the briefing. Remember, the mannequins are a uh, cunning species, and they rely heavily on cooperation between individuals. If we allow them to work together, well, there is no stopping them. James, uh, how do I turn this thing off? Is it this button? Ah, yes, thank you. Yeah. So now to the match, if there is time left. If the psychopath, not very good to be a psychopath, but it's okay. You can be whatever you want in this world. <laughs> You're not crazy, man. Well, at least I'm a mannequin, so this, you know. we'll see how that's gonna work. Okay. So you have random you placements of those NPCs, so it's not all tragic. Be careful. Moving in Fuck, get not know exactly where we are right now. Yeah, I'm fucking good. Fuck, oh you know what, I was... Okay, 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 okay. Generator down. Okay, he's going in, going in. Oh, no. Okay, you got your uh, last soap. Okay, he's going around the corner. We're at the generator, but they can't because our gun is. Okay. okay, he's moving. He's okay, no, no. He's still around the generator. Oh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't know how to be subtle. Okay, you guys go that generator. I'll go see you though. Hey, I said okay, great. Okay, we two go see. The other guy go A or B. Okay, come and take. The they're coming, they're coming. I'm in a solo mission. It's not so easy though. Okay. Oh, hell no, I should have been able to kill that man. Okay, okay. Oh, fuck, he is. Okay, there's two of them, there's two of them. They're at the generator, probably recharging. Oh shit, I'm getting cold. My 
think was on a cooldown. Honestly, with the right strategies, it can be pretty fun. It's very similar to... Now I remember, it's called Hunt Together, which was more like a ghost hunter type of situation. This is more leaning in the prop hunting scenario where the things are replaced by the random APCs scattered around maps. It is definitely a psychological game and some kind of strategy multiplayer one, so it really depends if you're into that sort of stuff and in an organized group. This is very much a game to go with. It's also something rather niche nowadays because this kind of genre was popular back in the day. Nowadays, I don't think so. And classically, with VR stuff, I'm not sure if it's gonna be revived. Couple technical stuff, I think the resolutions in the distance, they're not perfect, like some jacked edges and the kinetics are kinda weird when you twist your arm around, like clearly something's wrong. It has a specific ambience, it's very simple to understand, which is nice because you can develop more advanced mechanics while just playing the game. Overall it's decent, like there's not many complaints, maybe graphics could be a bit upgraded, but the experience is very stable and consistent all across the board, which is very appreciated.